So I picked up this dinosaur out of my little toy box that I have. And the first thing that I want to do if I want to draw this, I want to pay attention to the shapes. I don't want to think to myself, oh my goodness, I can't draw that. That's really hard. That's not how we want to think. We can do anything we want as long as we practice, practice, practice. So let's pay attention to the shapes before we start paying attention to the details. Okay. If you pay attention, I see that we have a large oval here. You could make a rectangle, long stretched out rectangle here, an oval here, and some rectangles here and here for the tail. This is how I, I see things, okay? And you need to start seeing things broken down like that as well. All right, so look at the dinosaur. See him? All right. So when I was a kid, this was called a brontosaurus, but now it's probably no, better known as an apatosaurus. One day when you are in science class, you can look up the difference and why the name changed. So I'm going to put my dinosaur, let's see here, right there so I can still kind of see him. All right, remember, I want to draw, draw with a pencil, but for this video, I'm going to draw with something a little more permanent, a little easier to see, which is this marker. Number one, we are going to draw loose and light. I can't really draw light with this uh, marker, but with your pencil, you can draw loose and light. All right, let's draw our big shapes first. There's our first oval, his body. There we have his head, which is a circle and a, an oval. If you pay attention, you can see two there. Then we're going to draw his neck. If you pay attention, this is actually an S shape. Okay. Really, you need to get really good at drawing S's and straight lines. Okay. So this is a subtle, stretched out S shape. So we're going to draw where our legs will go first before we draw the legs. Now if you notice, I'm drawing circles at every joint. That helps me see the movement of the object, okay? And if you look at your fingers, you could actually draw your hand and draw all little circles at every little knuckle. And that'll help you see, um, well, learn how to see an object in three dimensions and how they bend. So we, look, we have a circle and a circle. This would be his shoulder, this would be his knee, and then we come down for his foot. This would be his hip. We're gonna draw a two lines or a uh, rectangle to another circle, which would be his knee. Oh, that would be his elbow. This would be his knee. Another rectangle down to his feet. Now we're going to work on his tail. His tail is just kind of a fun shape. Um, remember, you gotta get used to drawing some of these curved and straight lines. I'm gonna come right off of this line, right off his back, and drop his tail down and curl up. All right, so now I'm going to follow this line and continue it all the way to his neck and all the way up. All right, now let's look at this head. Um, this is a shape that you're gonna to need to get used to a lot. Uh, and we'll talk more about it in a later video, but I've always thought of it as a car shape. Um, if you look at a car, okay, there's your car. Well, a lot of animals, uh, especially dinosaurs, have a shape that's very similar to this right there. And I call it a car shape because it kind of looks like the windshield, the hood, and the front end of a car, okay? So we're going to draw our car shape here, slope down, out, just like that. Now look, 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 look. You have an oval and a circle. Remember, I'm drawing dark because I have a marker. Okay, so now, am I done? No, I'm not done. 
All right, I want to draw a few more detail, a few more uh, big details before I get into specifics. All right, I want to come down here and work on my legs. I want to come follow this line. Look at that line right there. Do you see that line right there? I'm going to follow this line, which is his rump, all the way down to his knee, and then carry it all the way down to his foot. I'm going to break it right here at that joint and break it uh, out this way back to the foot. Draw my line for the foot. Now, if you pay attention, I'm not drawing a straight line for the feet. This line has a little bit of a curve to it, okay? Can you see that? It's not this. It's more like this. That gives a little bit of dimension. And then also, if you pay attention, it's not straight down. I actually come out a little bit here. So I draw my foot shape. Now I've got to add my toenails, okay, which is basically just... I'll use this one, that. Okay, and then I'll come up here to the front, make sure I have my lines, and I'll go curve, curve. Pay attention though, I didn't complete this curve. This is a half, okay? That's a hole, and that's a half. All right, now I wanna make this dinosaur look a little bit more three-dimensional, so I'm going to um, give him, draw the other legs on the other side, okay? If I can see it. You can kind of see it here. I'm going to draw the leg on the other side. I'm just going to follow this shape out. Look, same shape. There's the knee, toes, boom. I'm going to come up here, follow this shape, just make it slightly smaller because it's further away, right? If it was uh, the exact same shape and size, it would not look dimensional. So now we have our three-dimensional dinosaur shape. Let's look at our, our eyes. All right, I'm gonna keep it really simple for now and just draw an oval for the eyes. Um, I mean, you can draw a circle, that's fine, and you can kind of fill it in like this. But when I'm, I'm doing something simple like this, especially when I'm just learning, I'm just gonna kind of do an oval. I like to do ovals um, because they, they make eyes really easy, you know. And then I'm also gonna come in here. Now, if you, if you look, this dinosaur's smiling. I'm going to draw my I'm going to draw my smile out here first. Pay attention. Well, I'll do it here. We have a curve, and then we follow that all the way out. So we have a curve right under the eye. Well, this one's not quite under the eye. You can draw it however you want. But we have our curve line here. See, we have this. That's his little cheek. All right, where the lining line of the lip goes into the side of the cheek, and then we halfway through that cheek, we bring out our line. So we have our line under our eye, and halfway through that cheek line, we're going to draw our mouth. Now, I have pretty much my dinosaur drawn, but I want to add a few more details. So he has some color changes here, so I'm going to kind of draw some of those lightly, because if, I don't, if I'm drawing lightly, I can always go back and change it. There's a spot. I'm going to add him some spots. Uh, because this is my dinosaur after all, and I can do what I want to with him. I'm going to add him a few more here and here. And there you go. Now, what I want to do now is, you see how dark this line is? I'm actually, because I'm, I'm kind of done with this, I'm going to use my marker, but you can use your pencil. Now you can go back and use your dark line, follow those outside lines, and complete your drawing. You don't have to. I typically like to keep them loose, especially if I'm going to put them in some kind of program and finish them and make them look really nice. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Also consider supporting this project on Patreon.